Unseasonably hot temperatures and record challenging heat have the city making sure people have cool places to stay during peak hours of the day. Yeah, right now, San Antonio libraries are currently doubling as cooling shelters. The night team's John Paul Barajas spoke to people cooling down, has some tips to beat the heat and some recommendations from ERCOT. Air conditioning, it's a luxury, but on hot South Texas days, it becomes a necessity, and for some, it's hard to come by. I don't have a TV and, or AC, that's why I come in here, cool off. This man wished to remain anonymous, but he and many others took full advantage of the city opening its libraries as cooling centers. Others who didn't want to go on camera said all they have are fans, and their homes quickly turned into what felt like saunas. This helps out. If this wasn't open, what do you think? What do you think you'd be doing right now? Just in the shade, trying to, trying to stay cool. On this record challenging hot weekend, you're at risk of heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke if you're not well hydrated or are a part of the more vulnerable population. That includes adults older than 65, children under four, and people with medical conditions. The library is keeping people safe and also keeping them comfortable. I can take the heat, no problem, but just that I don't like when I take a shower and then I'm sweating all, all again. Right, right, without doing nothing. These hot days also put a strain on the energy grid. Yesterday, six Texas power facilities went offline. So ERCOT is asking people to conserve energy by not using large appliances like dishwashers and dryers between the hours of 3 and 8 p.m., as well as keeping the thermostat at 78 degrees or higher when possible. This will ensure there's not blackouts or rolling outages. Tomorrow we'll have another hot day where we'll be pushing triple digits, so cooling centers will be open again. If you need a ride to get to one, VIA will be providing rides free of charge. And tomorrow on the Night Beat, we'll show you how these hot temperatures aren't just impacting civilians, but also how firefighters respond to calls. Katie.